According to the United Nations, there are 23 sub-regions across the planet. This is known as the United Nations Geoscheme. It essentially splits up the world, as we all know it, into 23 jigsaw pieces, which combine together to form all continents and regions on Earth. But what are the least and most populated out of all these regions? Let's find out. So let's start off with number 23, Antarctica with a big fat zero. There are, of course, no people permanently living in Antarctica. Some estimates suggest that between 1 and 4,000 people can be temporarily situated there at any given point during the year. Number 22, Micronesia 550,000, so excluding Antarctica, which doesn't really count, Micronesia is the lowest populated sub-region on Earth. This is not to be confused with the actual country of Micronesia. This region is found within Oceania. It consists of around 2,000 islands within the northwestern Pacific Ocean. Some countries that are found here are Palau, Micronesia, and Kiribati. Number 21, Polynesia 735,000. Polynesia is another region within Oceania. It is made up out of around 1,000 islands in total. It is found across the southern Pacific. Samoa is the most populated country in the region, with around 225,000 people. Number 20, Melanesia, with quite a significant jump to 12.8 million people. Melanesia is yet another region found within Oceania. It extends from New Guinea in the west to the Fiji Islands to the east. At just over 10 million people, Papua New Guinea easily makes up the majority of this region's population. Number 19, Australia and New Zealand, 32 million, yet another sub-region found within Oceania. This region, as the title suggests, includes the countries of Australia and New Zealand. With around 26.6 million, Australia makes up the majority of this sub-region. Number 18, the Caribbean, 45 million. So finally, we have left Oceania and traveled across the Pacific to this region found here, in between the US and, of course, South America. There are some 13 sovereign countries within this sub-region, as well as 12 dependencies. The most populated country found here is Haiti, with around 11.8 million, slightly higher than the Dominican Republic. Number 17, Southern Africa, 70 million. Southern African is this region here, not to be confused with South Africa, which actually makes up the majority of this sub-region's population, with their population of around 61 million Southern Africa in this regard includes, of course, South Africa, Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho and Namibia. Excluding South Africa, this is a very sparsely populated region. Number 16, Central Asia, 76 million. The term Central Asia is kind of vague. Sometimes you'll see countries like Afghanistan or Georgia thrown in there. But in this regard, it only includes what are known as the five Central Asian stand countries being Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan. Out of the five, Uzbekistan is the most populated with around 35 million people. Number 15, Northern Europe, 106 million. So Northern Europe includes the UK all of the Nordics as well as the Baltics too, totaling for a population of some 106 million, the most populated of which easily being the UK, whose population accounts for around 64% of this region's entire population. Number 14, Southern Europe, 152 million. So Southern Europe actually stretches across a lot of the continent. You've got Portugal to the west, Italy towards the middle, and then the Balkan countries in the east, as well as Greece and others, at 58.7 million Italy is the most populated out of all of them. Number 13, Central America, 181 million. Central America is the region found between North and South America. Where Mexico sits is often a topic of debate. It is part of North America, but definitely more closely linked to Latin and South America. In this regard, it is part of Central America, which seriously boosts the population of this region. Without Mexico, the population would just be 52 million. Number 12, Middle Africa, 190 million Middle Africa, as the title suggests, is this region here. It sits in between Southern and Northern Africa and encompasses around 11 countries in total. The DR Congo is by far the largest in terms of population and size, at about 112 million and 2.34 million kilometers squared, respectively. Number 11, Western Europe, 
195 million. Now, Western Europe, like many other subregions in this list, is a rather vague term. Where it starts and ends is up for debate. In the UN's geo scheme, however, it includes the likes of France, Germany, and the Netherlands. It is one of the wealthiest regions on the planet. The most populated country in this region is Germany, with around 83 million people. This also makes it the most populated country found solely in Europe. Number 10. Northern Africa, 256 million. What's interesting about this region is that parts of it dip further south than the region known as Middle Africa. There are around six or so countries within this region, with Egypt being by far the most populated with a population of some 115 million. Number 9. Western Asia 290 million Western Asia in this regard is also what we generally call the Middle East. It encompasses the likes of Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and the UAE. Honestly, in my opinion, this region should just be its own continent. Number 8. Eastern Europe 291 million. Now this one is kind of bizarre. By looking at this map, you'll know exactly what I mean. Most of the countries found in the region make complete sense. But then you've got Russia, whose western territory is definitely Eastern Europe. But then its far east is actually found pretty much further east than all of Asia. So classing this part here as Eastern Europe is very strange. But anyway, Russia is easily the most populated in this subregion, with a population of some 144 million, which by the way has actually peaked and is now starting to decline. Number 7. Northern America. 376 million. Now this one is nice and easy. It is just the US, Canada, and Greenland. The US makes up the absolute majority of this region, accounting for around 90% of the region's entire population. Greenland, on the other hand, just 0.02%. Number 6. Western Africa. 419 million. Western Africa is a very dense area in terms of the amount of countries. It is also the region that is most likely to have changed the most, depending on when you watch this video. If you're watching this video in 2050, this could be as high as 773 million, which is rather insane. Nigeria is the most populated in the region, with a population of some 230 million. Number 5. South America. 435 million. This is another easy one. It is simply all of the countries found on the South American continent. Brazil actually makes up around half of the entire population in size. Number 4. Eastern Africa, 461 million. So at the time of making this video, Eastern Africa is the most populated subregion within the African continent. But probably not for long. At about 30 million, Ethiopia is the most populated country found within this region. It also makes it the second most populated on the continent. All right, we are now into the top three. Can you guess where they are? Well, all three are found within Asia, with the third most populated being perhaps my most favorite subregion on the planet, Southeast Asia, with 676 million. Southeast Asia includes the likes of Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore, and the world's fourth most populated country, Indonesia, who makes up just over 41% of the region's entire population. Number 2. Eastern Asia, 1.663 billion. So with almost a billion more people than our previous entry, Eastern Asia is the world's second most populated sub-region. Due to the fact that it includes China, whose population is some 1.4 billion, the rest of the region's population mainly comes from Japan and the Korean Peninsula. And finally, number one, Southern Asia, with around 2 billion people. This region, according to the UN Geo Scheme, stretches from Iran to the west all the way to Bangladesh in the east, with India being by far the most populated out of all the countries found here. It accounts for around 70% of the region's entire population. What's crazy about this subregion is that around a quarter of the planet's entire population lives here. Now, if we skip forward even just 10 years, I'm guessing this list will look completely different. Now, imagine in another 100 years. That's, of course, if humanity doesn't wipe itself out. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more geography content.